Hey guys, Joey Lopez here. We're going to be looking at the tarot and the astrology charts this month. So um, how this works is um, I usually get asked in the comments, how do I know which tarot video to watch? Well, I'm going to break it down for you guys at the beginning of all your videos this week by copying pasting this one video to show you how to really find what video is going to resonate with you. Now, if we're just doing tarot, you can look at any tarot video I post and you can look at the title, see which one's resonating with you, and that tarot video should resonate with you. And generally, I don't talk about planets, right? And when we're looking at tarot, sometimes tarot card readers say, oh, this read is timeless. So those reads with just tarot can be timeless. And if they hit you at a certain time or you find the video at a certain time, divine timing, and it resonates with you and you get your answer, that video is your video, of course. Now, when I hit astrology, or I'm talking about astrology, just when I'm doing random tarot, um, that is not timeless because the planets are doing something at that certain time. And so if you catch that video and I'm talking about Jupiter entering Pisces and you're watching that three years from now, that that's no longer effective, that message. Okay. The second part of this is well, which sign do I know to look at? My moon, my sun, or my rising? Well, the easy answer is check your rising. That's going to hit you the hardest when we do charts because I threw a chart here basically on the morning hours of whatever rising sign is going to be for that day. So I will put Aries in the rising and I will see all the planets affecting you for that day and time. And so how that works is if you're a daytime baby, it might resonate more with you if you listen to your sun sign, your rising. If you're a nighttime baby, it might resonate a little bit more for you for your moon sign and your rising. Um, now, I've had exact opposites, right? So sometimes the nighttime babies are resonating with their sun sign. And, you know, I have friends that are, you know, one sign and they've been that sign. And then when I tell them about their rising sign, they're like, oh, you know, the rising sign's actually resonating more than my sun sign. So that's how that works. Um, leave in the comments below if you're a nighttime baby, specifically nighttime babies, if your nighttime and your moon sign resonates more than your sun sign video did. Very interesting. Um, as astrologers, we're always studying. We're trying to see what's going to resonate more with people. So go ahead and leave that too if your sun sign and the sun sign resonates more than the moon sign. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys on how to watch these videos and how if they're going to resonate with you or not or how to find the exact video that you're looking for. I hope that helped and let's get started with your March read. Pisces, hi, welcome to your read for March. Let's get started. Uh, by the way, if you'd like a personal reading, uh, my email is in the description below. Feel free to reach out for a personal read. If you just like to get to know me personally and see what I'm up to, uh, my social medias are all linked there at the bottom as well. I really like the haircut on this Knight of Coins. I never noticed it. I really like this tarot deck. Sorry, I'm interrupting your read, but look, I like his haircut. I think I'm going to take this card to my barber and say, I want that haircut. I like that. And he's also got a neck tattoo like me. <laughs> Very cool, very dope. All right. Never noticed that. Anyways, um, where was I? I'm in La La Land. Are you in La La Land too, Pisces? All right, um, where was I? Oh yeah. <laughs> like, share, subscribe to the channel. While you're down there in the description looking at my info because um, it helps support my channel so that I can continue making videos like this. All right. Pisces, I feel like this is going to be an important read for you this month for the month of March because it's your birthday. So happy birthday, Pisces. But I really do feel like um, it's going to be very important for you. Why? Well, 
you got a lot of planets in your sign and you have very positive planets there. You have the Sun, Jupiter, Neptune, especially if you're rising Pisces. Okay, this is this is you time. This is this is go time. And the moon's gonna be coming in there and it's gonna be chilling. It's gonna be like a little midnight daytime tea party for you on the third. Um some of you want to, might want to work that moon magic and those manifestations because uh, I don't think, I think, you know, a lot of you that have been following astrology and tarot, I think every tarot card reader has been saying this about you, Pisces, but those alternate realities that you want to manifest, you can manifest that. Let's, I've told to stop shuffling. So let's see, four of wands, balance. Balance is coming to you this month. In March, a total balanced life that you want, it's on its way. What's being challenged is the Six of Cups, a soulmate. So some of you are trying to manifest a soulmate, or some of you are trying to manifest a happier work situation. Now, some of you in relationships, stick around. I'm going to see where your happiness is with the relationship. For some of you that don't want relationships as well, I'm going to see where the happiness is there. For some of you looking for relationships, I'm going to look at the chart and see where your happiness is. I'm going to touch all that. So stick around towards the middle of the read. I'm going to get to that, okay? But for some of you, it really is about signing something this month of March that's going to make you happy, feel like a child. Some of you, I'm hearing that you need to laugh a little bit more like a child. You need to watch like a comedy movie. Some of you haven't watched comedy in a while. I'm... I'm I'm hot with the Pisces. Um, I'm you know, too much info. I'm just like channeling and the charts just kind of like sparkling here for me. Woo. Okay. So yeah, and you have the five of wands is why you're here. Um, you know, this is a competitive vibe, but I feel like you don't need to compete for anything here. Are you competing for some sort of attention? The Hierophant. You're competing against the universe here, I feel. You're trying to break all cultural boundaries here from the past, the Hierophant, or you were like tied to something, or you felt you were spiritually connected to something, and maybe you're realizing here that you're not. You're actually spiritually connected to yourself here. With this Five of Wands, that's why you're here. The Seven of Coins here is your strength. You realize that working for somebody that doesn't work to put effort into you is a load of BS in March. And just as I said that, the lights flickered. That's really creepy. Spirit is hot for you, Pisces. And then just in this read, I already feel like the trickle of sweat on my back and like the little pain in my back that I get when I'm channeling and spirits here really putting down his cane. And that's right, because I've seen it with a cane. Spirit shows up with a cane, okay? And it, it's just... It's really hot for you. The Seven of Coins, you realize that all the BS, people that are not putting work into you, that are not Saturnian, that are not Aquarius, you're okay with the loss. That's what Saturn's teaching you there in 12th house Aquarius. To be okay with loss because you can't carry the weight for people here. Seven of Swords, people that lie, cheat, and steal. But this is also you. See, I look at this card like a stairway. Okay, and all those swords are stabbed into a heart there, okay? All the pain, all the BS that you've gone through, in March you realize it was a stepping ladder for the universe to really elevate you up to something and for some of you i'm hearing a business some of you are opening up a business that's really elevating you why because saturn is business and you have this you have a seven and a seven for some of you that aren't opening a business this is you starting online work some of you are really pushing forward for the online work And that's the scale. It's Libra in there. And that's Saturn. Nine of Wands. King of Coins. Sorry, that was the Eight of Wands. And the Chariot. Woo. Chariot's my favorite card as of recently. And if we're talking about light, 
and we're talking about shadow and we're talking about energies and we're talking about the yin and yang chariot is definitely the card to bring that in and channel it so that you can move forward into the reality and this is this is this whole read is about you maybe starting up your own business here that was attached to a heartbreak somewhere along the lines like i'm picking up 2019 for you this could have started somewhere like maybe 2000 I'm that's really creepy. Now I'm hearing stuff outside. So for some of you, 2019 attached to a heartbreak here that you've been working on something. March is finally the month where you push forward with it and you realize that you can manifest a really awesome future here. Pisces, if you believe that you can't, um, you're doing yourself a disservice with this King of Coins is your suggested approach to have confidence that you can manifest the material world. You're doing yourself a disservice by not doing that. What the universe wants you to know is the Eight of Wands. It's communication, but it's also spirituality, communicating with spirit what you want. Being vocal about your manifestation so the universe can hear it. Some of you don't even do the morning intentions. That's so simple. You wake up in the morning and you say what you want. When I was in the military, there was a, I think it was a master sergeant. He says, how do you know what you love? Well, it's the first thing you think about when you wake up and it's the last thing you think about when you go to sleep. I love tarot and astrology. Astrology is the last thing I think about and watch when I'm watching documentaries on space or I'm watching about like people wanting to go live on Mars. It's the last thing I think about when I go to sleep. And when I wake up, it's the first thing I want to listen to and podcast while I get ready for my day. Y you know, whatever it is for you that you love, you need to really let that sink in and march so that those energies can pull you forward. You have a dark horse and a light horse. Light and shadow. When they combine, they move at the speed of light here and nothing's stopping it. And this is cancer season. So I think by cancer season, whatever it is that you think you can't, um, I feel like the universe you may feel like you can and you may not do anything, but the universe is going to say, oh no, you can, and uh, you accidentally manifest an awesome reality here. All the other signs have gotten this whole aspect in their chart of manifesting the reality that they want and that there's a simulation that they've been living kind of like a robot. And there's this other reality for them. For you, it's like, you're not even in a simulation. You're already in this reality now. And you can create amazing things if you really give yourself that benefit of the doubt that you can. If you're not doing it, you're doing yourself a disservice. And there is a business attached to this. I'm pulling business stuff up. Now, Mars, Venus with pluto dancing with pluto there in the 11th house i mean this could be this is like uh you know you could have friendships kind of like fall apart you can have depending whether you're nighttime daytime baby you can have like things going on with friends as well um but i feel like why is that important well because you have jupiter in the first so there could be expansion but i also feel that it's it's aspecting the 11th here in a way where maybe because you have a scuff or something with a friend, maybe there's some sort of expansion with you. Or maybe because you have a friend that helps you along the way, there could be an expansion here. Let me put grid lines because... I've been jamming with grid lines recently. Most certainly. There can be an encounter with a friend. There could be an encounter with uh, male or female friends here. 
And I don't know why it's important to tell you this, but I feel like, um... There's like unseen contracts here that you have with the universe. This is kind of a stretch and I don't even believe it. And you guys are probably like, what the hell is he talking about? Well, let me put this in uh, easy terms for you. Let's say you, let's say you're 42 years old and um, you have a really good voice and this band picks you up to go sing for that band, right? Now, you think because you're 42 year old it can't happen, but you're doing yourself a disservice thinking it can't happen because it can happen, okay? Um, the thing is that you have you have been doing this shadow work, and I know because from all my tarot reads that I've done for you, Pisces, it's been nothing but shadow work. But shadow work is not here. It's about shadow and light combining. So what's being hidden from you is the King of Swords, Saturnian things and having an outlook on life here that brings you some sort of awesome reality. You have a bigger outlook on life now. And isn't that what I was just saying? That the Saturn has taught you that loss is a good thing because it allows you to move forward towards something that gives you a lot more gains. And it's funny because I said around cancer seasons when you get the gains, you're going to have a preview season uh, when Jupiter moves into Aries uh, around summertime. And that's going to give you kind of a preview of what those gains are going to kind of look like. In August, you're going to have a, a very clear picture of what that is. And then next year, that's when these things really come to fruition. So you're getting kind of like... Instead of a March read, you're getting of a kind of like a perspective of summer into next year. You're one of the special signs, Pisces, because you have a lot of stuff going on for you this year. Because even though the, the Jupiter stuff is happening with your Neptune and your Sun, it's really hitting your third, your fifth, seventh, ninth. It's, it's, it's all kind of coming in. And then, you know, you have friendship units that are helping you get this access as well too that's happening in march i don't know why friends are going to be important to you but you're going to have community circles that are going to be very important it could be an older person by the way too you have two older characters that show up three if you want to count the hierophant but they're people that help you and i don't feel like they're willy-nilly people that are just like Oh, you know, this might pop off. No, this this is people that want to have you sign contracts. These are people that want to have you for their project. These are people that want you to do things. Because you have the talent. Because you have the reality. You're in the reality that nobody else is in. None of the other zodiac signs are in this reality except you, Pisces. you got to really believe in it because you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't. Now, for the single Pisces, um, your happiness is going to be doing something romantic for somebody. Um, this is simple, fifth house. Um, and when I see the chariot, I'm thinking doing something simple, but a little risky, right? Maybe you pick them up in your car, pick up a date in your car. Could be something romantic, right? Or have flowers when you pick them up, right? Um, if you meet them at a, let's say if you do stations or whatever, you know, meeting them at the train station with flowers, something romantic is really going to boost your dating life here. Um, as well as sports activities, if you want to take somebody along to do, because the weather's warming up, it's getting nice, it's spring. Doing outdoor things is going to be good for you, for those of you that are single. For those of you that are in relationships now, um, your happiness is just going to be within the relationship. So doing things with your partner. Outside. I feel like the fifth house, because I said first, also impacts the third, fifth, seventh, ninth here. All of that's going to be impacted. So all of that stuff, you know, even if you're in a relationship, it's the same thing. Going out, having fun, right? Now, for those of you that don't care for relationships, don't want relationships, your Happiness is going to come from learning, and it's going to come from learning from a teacher, 
and this teacher might try to have like they might have one mindset they might say that their way is the only right way but your happiness might come from learning from something from this person you don't necessarily need to tell them uh what if this and that i think just listening to this person talk or listening to the stories they have to tell you or the teachings from this person um this could be some sort of spiritual teacher right this is you reaching out to a spiritual teacher if you're not interested in love um, that is going to give you some sort of access to some sort of higher dimensional uh, outlet here. I have no idea, but this is really good. This is a really good, this is the best read you've had on this channel, Pisces. I know it gets kind of cryptic and it gets kind of weird at times. I was saying this, but you have a really hot read compared to the other signs. I would, I would do a lot to be a Pisces at this time. And for those of you experiencing some sort of loss or losses, um, I feel like that is not even going to impact you when it comes to what's going to happen in August. I feel like that is that is actually a good thing that that helps take off the weight so that the new stuff can come in here. There's going to be something really good coming up for you here with this King of Swords here. And you might have a friend that's older that teaches you something. That goes all around. I feel like Pisces, you also might have a teacher. Um, you might shift. You might find a new teacher that teaches you something. So like if, uh, for example, you do astrology, you might find another teacher that has a form of doing astrology that you kind of resonate more with, right? You'll find that. Or if, you know, you fix cars, right? You find a teacher that he teaches you how to fix cars a lot better. I don't know anything about cars. Just, just an example, right? Well, that's all I got for you, Pisces. So I'll see you guys again next week. And I hope you guys enjoy March. Take it easy. Bye.